Let's talk about Neutral Ground by Sherwin-Williams, color code SW7568. Now that we got the color code, let's crack it. We're here to talk all about this wonderfully warm neutral by Sherwin-Williams, conveniently called Neutral Ground. Neutral paint colors in general are such powerful tools because of their incredible amount of versatility. There's a pretty clear reason why warm grays and beiges have been used so heavily throughout interior design, and it's because they tend to do a great job at coordinating with the types of colors and surfaces you might have in your home right now. Natural woods, grays, browns, and taupes, and anything that would slide itself into neutral territory, it usually does a pretty good job working with other neutrals. I feel like I'm going to say neutral a lot in this video, so just bear with me. Before we get into some awesome color pairings that I selected for neutral ground, let's break this color down itself a little bit first. So if we go over to the Sherwin-Williams website, like I always do, and I click on that good old details tab, you'll notice that it's LRV is 70. This acronym stands for Light Reflectance Value, which determines how light the color appears in actuality. And it's a percentage from zero to 100. The higher the number, the lighter the color appears because it's reflecting more light back at you. 70 may not feel like the lightest color out there, and that's because it isn't. Although I would still call neutral ground a pretty light color overall, perhaps just outside of off-white territory, in my opinion. I would classify it as a very warm grayish because it definitely does combine gray with a warm creamy beige element. Beige can also come in a few different forms, but the one used here is going to be a little more yellow leaning in its coloration rather than something that's maybe a bit more earthy and maybe goes a little towards brown or red undertones instead. What's good about neutrals like neutral ground is they will feel a little more cozy and in my opinion, a little more homey than a more brutalist modern cool gray, for example, which would maybe look pretty cool, but in turn will also feel cool too. So what I wanted to do is to offer you some color pairing options for neutral ground. So if you were thinking of building a little color palette based on it, after listening to me, you'll have a light, medium, and dark color pairing you can use alongside it, as well as an off-white paint color that could be suitable on the trim if you wanted that. So for the light color pairing, I actually went with something that is similar in depth, but has very different undertones, making it slightly complementary, but still soft enough to tone in. The color is called Nearly Peach, and its name is pretty self-explanatory to me. It essentially starts as a peachy color that has a bit of a coral undertone, so kind of orangey, but it's also toned down with a bit of gray as well. So similar to neutral ground in that respect. So even though you can tell this color is a bit pinky, it doesn't feel childish or juvenile to me, which I think is a good thing if you're trying to decorate an entire home, for example, but it'll still really stand out against neutral ground. So they won't just completely blend into one another. In fact, the two paired together have this little bit of a back and forth going on where the yellow and gray combination in neutral ground can sometimes give you the illusion of a slight green undertone which shows through and I absolutely love that interaction personally. You can just as easily separate the two colors and have them in completely different spaces in your home so you won't have as much of that potentially jarring complement of one another. But you don't always necessarily want everything to seamlessly tie in. So this is a great option if you were looking for something a bit different. And because we went a bit funky with the light color, the mid-tone color I selected is much more in line with neutral ground. And even though the color is called Amazing Gray, it definitely feels more like a greeny, warm taupe to me. Even though it's technically not a darker version of neutral ground, they're definitely kind of adjacent and within that same family of colors. So it's a really solid choice if you maybe wanted something like a subtle accent wall or you were painting a room that had a ton of natural light and you still wanted the paint color to stand out and not feel washed out, that's what Amazing Gray is for. It's also pretty versatile because it does have that bit of warmth in its undertones and it still maintains a lot of its gray quality 
which would work with a variety of design elements. Now for the dark color, I could have gone quite a bit darker, but instead of contrasting through depth, what I really wanted to do was find a complementary color here. Essentially, what I'm gonna show you is a shaded red mixed with brown, and that is a color that will really pop against the neutrals we spoke about earlier, but still fits really well. Reddened Earth continues that little back and forth thing we talked about earlier in Nearly Peach, and puts it prominently on display with a beautifully rich, organic brown terracotta. Essentially what we're getting here is a shaded red mixed with brown, and that is a color that will really pop against the neutrals we spoke about earlier, but still fits really well. We started with a color named Neutral Ground, and Red in Earth is another color that feels extremely grounded and stable. Now if you needed an off-white paint color to add to the mix, I do enjoy a warmer off-white with these other colors because in one shape or form, there's some warmth throughout all of them. That's why my choice here is West Highland White with an LRV of 86, making it pretty bright, but simultaneously has enough noticeable warmth to differentiate it from a stark plain white. It's not for someone that wants something sterile or institutional. The warmth in West Highland White is going to be on display, but in my opinion, it further enhances the other colors that we talked about. The truth is, Sherwin-Williams has a lot of really great white paint colors, including this one. And this is a great choice if you want something with a bit less warmth, something that's very clean and stark. 